Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to a new episode of Tester Tech. If you clicked on this video, you're probably interested if you should upgrade to the latest Fedora 38, specifically for the iFree spin. And just to give you that answer straight away, I see no reason not to. There's all, all the changes are improvements and new versions, and there's really not, nothing that negatively impacts the Fedora iFree spin experience. So there's that. And what I'll show you in this video is uh, first me installing uh, Fedora iFree Spin from scratch on a, on an old, yeah, on a existing laptop. And there's nothing special about that anyways. So if you're interested in that, do check it out. If you've never seen it, do check it out. And I will also be showing you uh, the upgrade process. Also not that exciting to be honest. On an existing Fedora 37, my daily driver, and I will be upgrading it and I face no issues. So maybe you saw some Reddit posts of issues being posted for Dora 38. I guess that is mainly because of GNOME being, uh, yeah, being at ver version 44. It's quite new. So if you're a little bit cautious and accessibility is very important for you, then don't upgrade just yet. If you're using the regular Fedora workstation that is. So if you're using the Fedora Ivory Spin, I see no issues like I said before. And before we dive into it, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. It helps me out a lot with the channel. And without further ado, let's dig into the video. So here you see the USB stick booting up. Fedora 38 Ivory Spin. Let's give it some time to boot. So first of all, sorry for the low quality of the screen capture. Uh, yeah, it's uh, 1280 by 720, but uh, yeah, I hope it gets the message clear. So it's a live user, so it doesn't really matter what you choose here. The first thing I always do is just hit Windows Enter Live Inst, trigger the live installer. Live Wizard is uh, shown here, and you can do Windows S to do a stacked layout, and now you have two of these tabs open. And I'm just going to use the standard installation. Let's continue. And the partitioning. This is an older laptop. I will list out uh, the specs uh, in the description, or maybe in the video. Uh, I'm going to use the whole disk. Uh, but I want to do a custom. There's already an existing installation on there, but it's Fedora uh, Linux 37. And it's reasonably partitioned okay. What I'm gonna do is just remove everything and let uh, Fedora decide for itself. And this is STB is my USB stick. And you can encrypt your data, very easy. Uh, ButterFS, I'm gonna use the default. So I'm gonna not encrypt, but normally I do recommend you encrypt your home drive at least. So automatic is this, and I'm done. Accept the changes. So root account. Uh, I would say disable it, uh, but you do have to uh, add an administrator account here and then it, this goes away as well. Time and date. Uh, you can connect, you can uh, define your host name here, of course. Uh, Latitude. Done. Here, let's do demo. I recommend you normally do a larger password, but uh, just demonstration. All right, and let's begin the installation. This will take some time. So that's done and just a reboot. And remember to remo remove the USB stick from your drive before it boots again. And if you choose the entry, it should boot into it. And the first time log in and I chose demo, put that in there. 
and then it will run the first time configuration wizard. And uh, in my all my videos, I just pick the first defaults. And now this is the first time uh, you see it. So all the defaults are there, uh, the terminal, and in the right you have the network connection and you can just uh, right click it to choose a connection. If you're on Wi-Fi, for example, it should work uh, out of the box. So um, yeah, I think uh, until now it uh, just installs uh, pretty much the same as a uh, previous uh, i3 spin. So let's test some programs and default for a browser you have Firefox installed as always. And if you hit Windows D and then it will run, uh, open up the launcher and you can just type Firefox and it should uh, pop up. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Um, ah, of course, I don't have a network card in there. So let's click on a connection. So to set up a wireless connection, you left click and then you have the available uh, connections here and I will just select my guest network here. And my password and then it should show here a message that you're connected and let's uh, try again. All right, so we have connection. It's all fine. Uh, so you can use the internet and start browsing. So let's, uh, yeah, what is, let's check the release notes. So, all right, let's look at the release notes. So lots of, I guess the only thing that really hits the user experience probably that what the user could see is the XFCE upgrade, but that's very minimal. And lots of new packages are being drawn. And lots of things uh, in terms of security and the bumping up versions and stuff like that. So yeah, I would say it's a, it's a good, um, good step. And what I'll now do is on an existing Fedora i3 installation, I will just upgrade and double check if my installation is still working as expected. So it's the DNF system upgrade plugin. So this upgrade refresh, install this and download the release version 38. And then you uh, upgrade system upgrade, reboot it. And then, uh, yeah, basically it's, uh, it's all you need to do. So let's do that now. So here we have the, my regular workstation for door 37. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm fairly confident that we can just upgrade it. So, uh, without any issues. And let's So this is the one I just showed you. And uh, let's go to that page. And just follow these steps. All right, so yes. Step one is done. Already done. So I already did this, of course. That was step one. And that's finished as well. So you just need to uh, do this as a last command. And after that, you could uh, clean it, but don't do it before because that will remove the whole, <laughs> the whole installation you just downloaded. Something like this should be popping up 
in your screen. Just give it some time. If all goes well, then the newest Fedora should be here, 38. You select it and boot into it. And it uh, shows up the clouds and I think that's the default wallpaper of Fedora 38. And I can just uh, log in. All right, so what better way to test than just to start doing some activities. And what I did uh, was uh, continue with my image browser script. And I see there's some error here. And it's because of trying to uh, interpret SVG. Here, this one. Graphbox, SVG, so it cannot parse it. And I guess SVG should not be supported at this moment. So open Kate. Yeah, so this works. 